Let's get some Uno going. Yeah. yeah. Pit player. So basically, we just got a house, me and Annabelle, me and my future wife, my fiance, and we go over there. So we got a house, it's a three bedroom, two and a half uh, bath, uh, two story, upstairs and downstairs, and we got all of our furniture. We're picking up our furniture tomorrow, moving in and stuff like that. I'm probably going to move in in about two and a half weeks, so I'm going to be all alone by myself, unless Andy and Lalo and stuff want to come visit me. And Annabelle, how do you feel about uh, having your own room with your husband-to-be? I can't wait. Oh, can you wait? Oh. How do you feel about your first moments of sharing a restroom with your new husband-to-be? I just hope not to die from the smell. But how do you feel about him smelling your um, feces breath? My feces breath? Well, oh. as long as he doesn't pass out, we're good. How do you feel about having prayer nights at your house? Prayer nights? Yes. I can't wait for the uh, Holy Spirit to come through, Amen. through our roof, through our chimney, Amen. through our windows, and uh, be able to uh, say that, you know what? That's powerful. People talked in, in wow. tongues in my house, you know? How, how, how do you feel about sharing a room with your wife to be? It's a, it's a, it's a long time coming. I mean, I've been waiting so for this. Yeah. For uh, <laughs> You see what I did there? Yeah. Uh, it's a long time. Uh, it's been three years, so I think it's time, and I can't wait. Yeah. It's been a long time. Mind blown. How does it feel to be with someone uh, <laughs> like Cindy? Someone really nice, really She's fresh. She's white skinned. She has blonde hairs. Where exactly does she have the blonde hairs? Mostly on her head. On her I head. noticed one on her leg the other day. Uh, for the most part, it's mostly around uh, around the lip area. I mean, the above, above the lip. And are, are you going to tell her to do anything? Which yeah. I mean, I've tried, but you yeah. know, you know, girls. Yeah, it's very hard. So, they get emotional. About her cooking, is her cooking good? You know what? I'd say it's pretty good. Okay. It's it's very good, and uh, it's good. Well, you know, um, what whatever's in the in the box. I mean, uh, is in the box. Uh -huh. But he says that he likes the whole hairy thing. So are you gonna like start growing stuff out? I don't. I don't think. I don't think he's talking about the hair on your arms. I, I mean, you take it for what it is. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Twenty-two times a day. And you heard it here first with me, Jordan Avila. Hello, Danny. Uh, I uh, I have it under a uh, good word that you were beat by Jordan Avila and Steve Cervantes three straight times in basketball. Oh, that's true. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Um, I'm very grateful to have to have a chance to even play with Jordan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like he's like yeah. the next Kobe Bryant, the legend. I think I think I don't you care mean, about I, think you I was mean, just grateful I, to play I think with him. You, I think you mean Michael Jordan. Yeah. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't have anything yeah. to say. I'm so, so can you can you can you tell us a little bit what were you thinking, like during the whole process, like when you were actually playing with him? What what was your game plan? Um, I was actually kind of nervous. So the day before, I expected him to come. The mm -hmm. day after, you mm -hmm. know. So I went on YouTube. I looked up a couple videos on how to dribble. Okay. Like yeah, how to break Michael Jordan's ankles. Yeah. Yeah. And it didn't work out. He okay. ended up breaking my ankles. Wow. But okay. you know, it was a good experience to play with the Michael Jordan, the one and only. Yeah. 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 So what are you gonna do uh, in the future? What does the future hold for you? Um, I don't know, man. Yeah. I'm just out of words. Yeah. Maybe maybe he'll he'll teach you and yeah. give you some like camps and stuff like that, some training camps. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so you're saying that Jordan Avila is way more better than you in basketball. Yeah. Beast. Yeah, just way better than you in life. Like in life, in, yeah. In on, general, on the court and off the court, he's a beast. Okay. So you want to be just like him? Yeah. Well, it's impossible to be just like him. But try. He's you're gonna try. Like, look, look, this is perfect. Okay. And this is Jordan. There you go. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. I think Jordan's a little bit higher than. Him. A little higher? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay. You heard it here uh, first. Uh, Jordan Avila is better than perfect. Um, Danny has retired from the uh, sport of basketball because his beat down from Jordan was just way too much for him. Uh, he's gonna focus all of his attention, all his efforts in uh, ping pong now. So, uh, but what he doesn't know is actually Jordan is a champion at ping pong as well. Um, but we'll see what the future has for him. He's young, courageous, you know, good looking guy. You know, so we'll, we'll see what it has. Uh, and that's all I can say, uh, back to you in the studios.